Another big part of COVID life, those temperature checks we've all been through a billion times. The well are part of the new normal, have been for months during the pandemic, but here's the big but. CDC data shows they may not be effective measurements to actually detect COVID. A survey of more than 766,000 air travelers found that the screening detected COVID once for every 85,000 people. So why are businesses requiring them for employees and even customers? We go through it every day when we walk in this building. Uh, once mine was 107. I was like, I think I should go home, <laughs> right? It's a bad thermometer. I yeah. think I'd be dead. All right, News Nation's Nancy Liu is live in L.A. with some answers for us tonight and whether we can uh, do away with this routine. Nancy. Well, Marnie and Rob, it's just part of the routine these days in many places, including here in L.A. County. Quite a few businesses still doing temperature checks to spot potential COVID cases. But according to some medical experts, it's unnecessary and a waste of time. Obviously, if someone had a high temperature, I wouldn't let them in, but that never actually happened. So with the easing of restrictions, this L.A. boutique owner also eased up on taking temperatures. For over a year, they became part of the daily routine all over the country. I'm not against it, but I don't think it really helps that much. That is indeed the case after all. The temperature checks and the symptom screening really have no value and they're really worthless. Dr. Jeffrey Klausner is a preventative medicine specialist at USC. He's among those urging the CDC to update its guidance for medical offices and businesses. There's no benefit to continuing this temperature or symptom screening. And in fact, the CDC itself stopped temperature screening its own employees many, many months ago. The CDC recommends the screening of employees as an optional strategy and admits it's not completely effective. The agency's own study of more than 760,000 travelers last year found only one case of COVID for every 85,000 screened. Cases are down over 90%. With COVID cases way down and many people now vaccinated, fewer businesses are doing temperature checks anymore anyway, but they may have provided some peace of mind. So the more, you know, if you have sanitizer here and everyone's in masks, then they're not scared to come in, especially if you're checking temperature. They're like, well, they're checking everyone's temperature, so we're fine. Doctors say there's no real harm in doing the screenings, noting that safety measures were in response to a brand new disease. According to Dr. Klausner, hindsight will reveal other response missteps. This one can go already. There's a lot of measures that were uh, put in place over the past year, and it's going to take some time to roll things back. I would prioritize the rollback of this measure because it really uh, does not have much value at all. Dr. Klausner adds that temperature screenings might also provide a false sense of security for the unvaccinated since they might let their guard down knowing that people around them are not feverish. And Rob and Marnie, as many people have heard, there are many people with COVID who never developed feverish symptoms.